So for EURUSD, we're looking this one to go higher. And for this week, I will look into maybe R2, 23.30. Uh, but if you look into the monthly chart, that would be around 123.60. So 30 pip difference. Which one are gonna take? I know what I'm gonna take. And this week, we're looking into 150 to 200 pip move. Amazing, right? It is. Welcome to this weekly forex forecast where I'm going to go through dollar pairs, gold, silver, US oil. I'm also going to go through COT airports and seasonality. I have not turned on the ads, so watch until the end so you can support my channel because I want you guys to see these videos. This training forex is really not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not indicative of future results, whatever has happened in the past does not need to happen in the future. Whatever I'm saying in this video is only for education purposes, not financial advice. Okay, cool. So we're going into DXY first. I would then say, well, that was a that was a ride on Friday. And if you're looking to the monthlies, that was just up to central. Okay. So where are you heading? 8550, 8840, 8884, whatever. And some kind of like that would be, yeah. So I'm just thinking straightforward, direct down. Does this make higher high? I'm I'm going out. Like I'm not even entertaining a higher high in this market. And I think the bottom could be around give or take fourth uh, to sixth of June, which is probably this week. And we should probably be taking profit before NFP on Friday. Coming into a straight, well, first of all, sorry, um, seasonality wise on DXY. This is the beginning of June. This is for the past 25 years. We are starting off a bit high and then just falling, falling, falling. Coming into 7th of June, give or take is normally the bottom. Comes up almost 100% up again before going into some kind of range. Coming into July and then we fall down in by after first or second week of July and then down, 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 down. That is what it happens on average. That might not happen this year, but it's at least a theory. The other thing to look out for is the dollar index uh, COT reports. We have more longs coming in, more shorts coming in. And in the end, as you can see this blue line here, it is rather average, just sideways. Okay, cool. The market is not very confident. Coming into Australian dollar, US dollar, we're thinking this one should go higher. What was that on Friday? Coming back down to M2 for the month. The monthly target is 7,900, 100, whatever. Those, around those prices. Well, to be honest, it doesn't really bother me too much because what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna buy it anyways. So I will look into where will it, how fast does it go? I will look into weekly R2, which is 78.48, and then monthly target was 79. So that's a 50 pip range where I can like, okay, I can take 50, I can take 50% off at 78.40.50, and I can take the rest at 79. It all depends how strong and how powerful Australian dollar, US dollar is going to be this week. And for this week, I am going to be, this is only my personal opinion, what I will do whatever I will do, okay? Don't mimic whatever I do. Make your own choices. I'm going to be aggressively buying, aggressively buying, aggressively buying. As long as we're still going higher, high, higher, low, I am. So if you have prepared yourself for the past year, half a month, some, something of how a trend works, where you don't necessarily get pullbacks down to monthly M2, I'm surprised, but okay, we'll move higher. And I will just do that until we break lower. Then I am out. I will take my losses and then go. Is there going to be losses for me this week? Probably, most likely. So that's only up to me. But I'm going to be and I'm going to win anyways. I'm going to follow my plan. Follow my plan. Follow my plan. I would also be able to use the 21 EMA. This red line here, which is currently downwards. So I can't really buy anything so far. 
but if we go down to maybe like a 15 minutes time frame this one turns out to be okay maybe it's turning higher soon so i can soon start buying okay we're soon getting there so targets 78 50 and 79 what is my stop loss stop loss is 50 pips give or take so that would be down below previous low fair enough and then if this makes a higher high here i will put my stop loss here and then we will continue higher straightforward no fuzz straightforward what else australian dollar everything is good we had the cot report for australian we have longs taking profit adding shorts okay interesting fair enough the cot is range bound not really engaging anything fair enough we can go we can go to euro usd now cot report for us it wasn't really encouraging coming into euro i need to go up here and say what are we doing here brothers and sisters we came down to the uh, central m2 area buy area fake out for those who knows what that is and can we go down to 2163 yes we can and then we go high up to 20 2330 maybe as a target for the week i will definitely if we get at r2 i would get out at 50 at 50 i would take profits i need to make my plan more solid than that but probably most of it at least in euro if we are at r2 this week I don't know if you're going to last much more than this week so i need to be prepared once we hit targets remember we can have a sharp fall 60 50 percent down before going higher again and then reverse down again so that could be a buying opportunity for you down to r1 or m3 just have that in mind if you have not if you don't understand with r1 m3 whatever it is there is a weekly there is a there is a couple of videos on my strategy so please go and watch them and yeah there we go then monthly was was the target there monthly was give or take 23.68 okay so around again a 30 pip range okay and what was the seasonality for EURUSD? EURUSD seasonality for June is straight up like a rocket ship and then straight down like a rocket ship or a tank and then range bound and then higher high okay so this is where we are at the very moment this is past 30 years okay 30 years so i hope that you now are you know getting a bit more confident it's just a theory by the way it can just blow up what could really set this one apart if there was a black swan if there was something that we don't know right now right today that could be Taking the whole market around. Is there is there a is there a war? Is there an attack? Is there a rocket? Is there Kim Jong Un? Is it Trump no longer? Uh, a tweet like those things we don't really have right now. That could maybe move the market, but other than that, taxation maybe. But other than that, no. And Fed no, because coming into summer, we're going into we're going into holidays. The Fed doesn't want to move the market now. Watch out for September. Okay, other than that, 50 pips stop loss or below 21.17, if you can get it. Don't risk more money than you can afford to lose. Good on you. COT report for Euro would be, there we are, Euro would be more buyers, less sellers. Great. And coming into the net positions, we are in a rising trend. Great, thank you. If you're wondering, today we have an unedited uh, video. I am fa speaking as fast as I can, hopefully, and I don't have time to edit it. So if you, as Gary V says, content over, um, over perfectionism. So I'm just going about it as fast as I can. So this, is there any seasonality to pound? Okay, May was supposed to fall, it didn't. Well, that happened. June is then also supposed to fall. Okay, and then rise back up again. So this is a different, this is a different one. So am I gonna jump on pound? Well, that's what happened to pound then. Pound in May went straight up like a rocket ship and ranged, deranged. What happens now? I think we're gonna go higher and then fall. 
Just a theory. So if we are making higher highs and higher lows, of course, of course. Yes, madam. But um, as a gentleman, if it breaks lower, I am not going to take it. I will leave it alone as the grave will leave you alone. So, yeah, I think 144.24 is a good take profit zone for the month. Well, that was that one, that was, and then 143. So there is a divergence there between the monthly target and the weekly target. Which one are you going to take? Take something on the weekly, something on the monthly, and get out of the monthly, by the way. Uh, I wouldn't stay in more than monthly, mostly because we are at the maximum of, this is like the rebalancing of the market, get out and go home, okay? Like, it's the end. This is not a new trend type of situation, type of time, uh, though we are still bullish. So I would believe it's more the end of the trend more than the start of the trend. It can continuation higher, who knows, but um, there we are. COT report for pound was a bit more buyers, way less sellers. Interesting. Then we have the net positions coming in, of course, and then we have a uh, Almost a higher high. We didn't have a higher high back from March, but it wasn't too far off. 36,000 plus, this is just 30,000. Okay, cool, but you know, some positivity. You know, some uh, positivity there. Uh, how do you plan out this one, young men, young ladies and gentlemen? This one you would take and say, hey, I want a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Higher low. How do, how, how do you know this is a pullback? When do you know it's a pullback? Well, I can teach you pullbacks. This is a pullback, this is a pullback, and this is a pullback, and this is a lower low. Okay? Buy, 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 don't buy. And then you, of course, mix a lower low. Now we are trying to go higher again, and then we just do the same thing once again. Stop loss below previous low. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah. Pound yen was fairly range bound and has been there for quite some time now. I I mistakenly think it's because it went too fast, too quickly. Now it has to kind of consolidate and find buyers. Maybe it goes a bit lower before going higher. If it goes higher high, then I'm game on on it. But other than that, no, not really. Is there any seasonality on pound yen? No, not that I remember so far. And then the yen CRT is you want more sellers on this one. So it's also taking profit, lots of taking profit. Fairly interested, but the market is still, still bullish, still, no, still bearish, sorry, still favorable of what we want to see. And commercially, we're falling and kind of, yeah, I think we're just taking up the wounds of how dramatic the fall in yen was this year. So, what is the targets? Targets always nice, right? I think you like targets. Targets is uh, 158, 50, 49, 46, sorry. And then we have the weeklies. Weekly is coming in anytime soon. We have 57, 40. There's a divergence there of almost 100 pips. Which one? Are you going to listen to make your plan make a decision is it weekly r2 you're going to take or is it monthly m4 choose don't be angry if you don't if you're wrong but but don't over trade if you are wrong get the get sense make your choice report make your analysis look back afterwards how did you do this is going to happen next year this is going to happen in the next three years this is going to happen almost every year in the past next 10 years make your choice now reevaluate and see how did you act how did you do and then come back next year and probably do some something better than you did this year new zealand um yeah what can we call this one uh a bit of interesting so this is weekly, great. This is monthly. So I would definitely take profit around 73 something, 80, 90, probably, probably 73, 80, probably, yeah. 
So just cluster up there. And then we take off the pivot points and take off the moving averages, going down to a uh, one hour time frame. We're looking into what really happened here, brothers and sisters. Well, that was coming into the buy zone. Okay. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So we don't want any lower than this low here of 721, 10, give or take 10. 72, 10. I think this is actually very technically interesting that it retraced the the, the, the rise uh, Canadian did not do this though it went down but not as much as this one so that's a warning sign so I might jump on Euro before I do New Zealand but I've already done New Zealand so cool whatever and 72 is kind of my stop loss and 72 is my stop loss and entry is somewhere around here and target was up there 7380 I think it was so yeah good to go Seasonality for New Zealand, New Zealand seasonality. I think there should be a chart for you all around here, brothers and sisters, gentlemen and gentle ladies. June is range bound until it says poo. Okay, let's see if we get poo or if we don't get poo. Um, yeah, cool. Moving on to the next one. We have New Zealand dollar. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Australian dollar, US, no, US dollar. CAD, we have here a range, and I feel deranged when I look at it. I don't, I, I don't feel like my tummy, like just <laughs> too much losses there. Um, so I feel like a bulldog or terrier or something. <laughs> so near lower low, pull back, that. That's the only thing I can do here for you guys. If it wants a higher high, okay, sorry. Um, What's the target? I don't know. 18 something. Just take it. <laughs> yeah, 18, 70. Okay, cool. Take it. Uh, and then add cells when it goes lower. If it doesn't go lower, don't do anything here, you know. And be a stop loss of 50 pips or more, probably 100. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe 200. <laughs> and you can sell it at a 122, by the way. And it's 120, 60 now. So. <laughs> it is what it is, people. Um, okay, anything else? Any other smiles and tiles here? Uh, seasonality for the CAD. This one is for CAD dollar. So in June, the CAD is strong until mid and then weak. So early target on dollar CAD and then back up again. Okay. Then we have the Canadian dollar seasonality report. More shots coming in. And longs adding. Nobody taking profit. Very interesting. Nobody taking profit at 122. So that means that my theory about 120 being like the target and people getting out is actually wrong. Based upon this COT report, we're actually going to fall more. Being CAD, having CAD Aussie New Zealand, I think it is, has the best months seasonality wise in June. This is good. Good. Good, 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 good. And then I want to make sure that we have the weekly targets as well. Just, you know, just a couple of extra pips and dips here. We have uh, 1960. I don't think that's, no, I think that's too little. I think that's too little. And uh, we can go, go lower. I've even heard people saying 110. Okay. But uh, let's take 118 first. 118 is the same as two here. Then I would then go to oil. Yes, madame. Madame Duzo. Madame Dudu. What do we do? What would I even do? We're coming into support area we're coming into monthly well i was a bit lower than i thought target is 70 sounds great for me i'm not going to trade it so whatever i say is kind of like whatever i mean you didn't uh, you didn't trade it um what's this personality for for you energy energy june Falls. That looks very familiar, by the way, doesn't it? 
So can we expect a fall in oil? Can we just say, don't come at me if it goes wrong? <laughs> so actually, seasonality wise, this one's supposed to take a dive before going higher. Okay. Um, well, it is supposed to, I want it to go higher, but we also have the Iran thing and some supply chain thing. So maybe, maybe the ball, maybe it falls, maybe it doesn't. Um, can we just take a question mark? We don't know. Maybe, okay, so we know. We know it could fall. If it goes higher, we'll take it higher and buy it higher. But if it doesn't, then cool. Okay, so if it goes higher, great. If it doesn't, don't risk money to lose. So I won't be interested in this one. The other thing is the seasonal the COT report for crude. And that is... Oh, I haven't seen this before. 13,000 more buys and 13,000 more sells, and we are absolutely going nowhere. All right, okay. I think this is going to soon turning higher again. Let's go back into, well, that was kind of a bummer. So if you're looking to seasonality wise from June, that's actually the top and then coming into September before rising again. Interesting, fair enough. What happened in June? To, June is actually the low in 2019 before going kind of sideways until October. Okay, fair enough. Yet again, uh, coming down to June, going into August and then falling the rest of the year. Okay, fairly interesting. So maybe we should expect a low in June after all. Seems like June is kind of this, you know, this thing. So, okay, we're maybe expecting lower COT awards than in June. Okay, cool. Down we go, down we go, down we go. But there's more demand coming in. We are at the peak of the oil storage, so price generally are supposed to go higher. But this week, well, we shall all see. We are very high, so this is not a buy zone, by the way, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, same thing with UK oil, just giving you the target just for the fun of it. So we are now at 72.40 and 76.385 and target for sellers are 62, 61, sorry. Silver coming into silver, silver, silver. We are absolutely race bound and nowhere to be found. The question marks that I ask myself, are we going to have a dip down before going higher? If you're looking to the seasonality report, for this kind of uh, metals, for gold. That one is a bummer. It goes higher first, so that's kind of what we're going to play now, but uh, damn, that's low. So, dang it. Um, and then that's the bottom of the year. July is going to be exceptional, apparently, so yeah. Look into the previous year, past five years or 10 years. What has it done in June? Do some analysis about it. Let's, let's look in through how that goes. I'm not going to do that with you right now, but um, yeah, so kind of. Generally, this is what I think about June for silver and gold. I also think that this is range bound because we hit target too early. Cool, everything is okay, cool. Are we going to go lower or are we going to go higher? That's up to the market. Don't force it. Trade what you see, not what you think you see. Coming to gold, gold diggers, gold diggers, please comment in down below. Gold diggers, because that's my clan. Boom. Gold diggers. Okay. Look at this chart. Fantastic. So we have some targets and some, you know, something, something, something to look into. We have 1983 or 2000, by the way. Already, I said 2000, whenever that was, um, and uh, 1760. I'm also then mentioning 1850 and 1835. I think one out of two things, if we are a month, they're going to do that, then start what we're going to do. If we are a bit less aggressive, this can happen. Okay. That is on the monthly. So 2000 on the R2 per month. Coming into the week, there might not be as low entries as that one because we have been quite in a range. So though pips are quite compressed and 
for that matter, I think we're going to go up to 30, 19, 35 this week. And how would I do this? Uh, well, we had a low on Friday at 4 p.m., which I normally talk about. That is the 2 p.m. That's an hour early. Okay. And I must say it is difficult. It's a difficult spot. It's very high. It's not really support at the moment. It can turn into support if it comes down to 1896 and then going higher. That's kind of a local support, but it doesn't need to hold, brothers and sisters. It doesn't need to hold. So what I would do is hold your bias, hold your trades as long as we are above 1871. Probably too far away from you, but have your stop loss in 1%, don't risk money cover to lose, and that's that. I will try to be live tonight at 1930 June 2 plus 2. Try to be live at 1930. Until then, I see you then. Have a good day and...